So our bell crank has made it into the digital thread. But before we go any further, we want to see if we can make it even better, even lighter. For that, we'll use a technique called topology optimization. What do you see as the role of things like topology optimization for product development? You're an aerospace and defense guy. What do you see as the impact of, of those kinds of tools on aerospace and defense? Uh, the impact's going to be enormous. It, it, it will change the industry. People don't realize that things like 3D printing are interesting for, let's say, supporting an aircraft yep. or developing it on the manufacturing floor. But it's the topology optimization that's going to allow parts to be created like they've never been created before, which means they'll be lighter weight, right, in many cases. In many cases, they'll be stronger, right? And you're able to do that in a way that the mind couldn't do before. Back in One Aviation, I meet with Ashley Eckhoff, marketing manager for Siemens PLM Software. He has an interesting metaphor to understand this concept of topology optimization. Think about Michelangelo. When he made a statue, he'd start with a big, huge block of marble, right? And he'd yep. chip away at it. Okay. So that's kind of the way topology optimization We're gonna works. We're going to start with... You start with kind of a block around okay. it that gives you your envelope of a material you can use. And the system's going to take away all the material it doesn't need conforming to the loads you have, the weight target you're gonna give this, uh, the type of material it has, those sorts of things. All those go in as input and the system just takes away little chunks here and there to try and find the most optimal part it can according to those inputs. So how am I gonna see how all this works? Well, you need to go talk to Jay. He's got topology optimization. He is the expert, he'll get you all set right. up. Jay is Jay Clark, a senior applications engineer at Siemens PLM Software. He'll walk me through how topology optimization actually works. You've got a model up here, so I want to ask you about that. I knew you were coming, so I baked the cake. All right, perfect. <laughs> I like it. I wanted to frame the actual part that's was that existed prior to a topology optimization. Okay. So we can compare it to what comes out of the optimization itself. All right. Because what we want to do is we want to start with what we call a design space. And this design space is going to be the volume based on, ultimately, the loads that we're going to put on the part. So we start pretty easily enough by selecting the design space, which is so. Yep. Then we assign it a material. And this material for this part is aluminum. At this point, we're going to manage our optimization features. We want to add these primitives and their keep out so that you can see that when it interfaces with the rest of the assembly, it will have the right areas in here and volumes in here so we, that it can we, make the interface. So it doesn't actually fill in this area as well in an effort to take material out. Yeah, so. we're telling it right away. We do not want material there. Next, Jay inputs the different loads that will be placed on the part and in what directions these loads will move. So the optimization is basically going to be able to carry load between these pieces. And the direction that the forces are is going to direct actually the structure to be built in that direction. Okay. Uh, then we just go into set up the optimization. So okay. It's straightforward. Again, this is straightforward. It's kind of intended for designers. And um, the design space as it exists right now, which is this piece minus those red pieces that knows the keep outs, is about 0.7 pounds. Okay. And we're going to be very aggressive here. We're going to say we want something like 0.2 pounds. So we're going to take uh, quite a bit of material out of this. Fair enough. So we just hit here, run optimization. So then look down on here. So that's a pretty big difference. It is a pretty big. That's cool looking. Yeah, it weighs about two tenths of a pound. Okay, so we got so we did we get got, the material out. Yeah, optimization can be used for all sorts of things. Weight is one of the uh, primary uh, objectives used in aerospace. Uh, but you could say I don't want this to deform by a certain amount, or you know I can minimize my stress. You could say I wanted to do these things but it will also try to make other things better. The system's then going to optimize and create a part, not as how a human mind would create it, but how hundreds or thousands of different simulations would create it. And it creates the part in a unique way that meets all the requirements for load or structure. And then you're able with 3D printing to go produce something that you might not have been able to produce before. But in order to do that, I actually have to connect all these different parts, right? I have, I have to be able to uh, get the drawings and the solid model of the part. I have to be able to simulate an assembly to grab the forces. I have to then be able to simulate that thousands of times in order to get this topology optimized mm -hmm. part. And then I got to start all over again and test that part 
virtually in order to make sure it's going to work. Is that? Yeah, but that, that process you can do within days instead of doing it within months or years. So we've got a new, lighter, definitely cooler looking topology optimized part. But how do we know it'll work? For that, we'll have to move to the next stop along the digital thread.